first of all, um, psychedelics uh, in a psychotherapeutic situation should be taken as an adjunct to psychotherapy. With the single exception of cluster headaches, the effect is a, is a psychotherapeutic effect, not a straight biological effect. Um, and so part of the screening is uh, to screen out uh, people um, who have uh, major psychiatric problems. Now, if you're taking it to address a psychiatric problem, that's a different thing. You, in fact, you probably would want to have what are felt as bad experiences because in psychotherapy it's often the most stressful sessions that turn out to be the most therapeutic. But you're working with a psychiatrist or other clinician who knows how to handle this. It's not something that happens to you, you know, when you're crossing the street or in your backyard. Um, so that's definitely should be. And then um, there are always some people who have unique reactions to drugs. Um, and the people who are terribly allergic to penicillin. And so you'd have to, you know, screen out those people. Also, um, you'd want to screen out people who or women who are pregnant or might become pregnant. And not because the drug affects the fetus, but because uh, during the psychotherapeutic session, a woman can often experience um, her own birth and feel uterine contractions. And if she were pregnant, she have, might have a miscarriage. So it's a secondary effect. And Stan Groff has the best reason for this that I've ever heard. It's a very understandable psychological reason. He says that in the 1960s, there were in these pictures of, uh, of babies who had truncated arms and, and um, the thalidomide babies, and they were blamed on LSD. Now, a certain number of birth defects happen even if the woman has good prenatal care. And if a woman had taken LSD and even had good prenatal care, and there was a birth defect, Stan Groff says, even though she knows in her mind that that didn't happen, she doesn't have to think every day for the rest of her life, what if I hadn't taken LSD? And that's a nice insight. Because it's, 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 it's completely irrational, but this is the way people think about things. So. Yeah, so I think that's really... And also, um, someone should not take it if there's a problem with... Uh, uh, an aneurysm or high blood pressure problem. And then again, not because of the effect of the drug, but if the person gets very emotionally charged, the blood pressure will go up and can cause a blood pressure problem. So that's a, you know, so there's all that screening that has to take place. And, and the screening would be very different for somebody actually undergoing psychotherapy and somebody using a different use.